Okay, within Zoro Books, I'm going to use this video to show you how to purchase some items. Within the items, I'm going to go to my work course worktop. I can see that it is a good because it's an inventory item. I can see that it's been encoded to inventory asset for 20% fat. Sells for £500, it's the cost of goods sold, that's the cost to the business. And I can see that I usually sell that for £1,000. So let's buy some stock in. So let's go to our purchases and I want to raise a purchase order. I'm going to create a new purchase order and I'm going to buy this from Shine Bright Kitchen Counters. The VAT on this particular vendor has not been configured so I'm going to say that it's within the United Kingdom. I don't have a billing address or a shipping address but these can easily be entered from here. So attention, Joe Blogs. Um, we can say that it's in the United Kingdom. Address is number 10. Um, Queen's Road in Bristol. Bristol. Save. Okay. It's going to come direct to our warehouse at our company. I'm ordering it today. It's defaulted to a purchase order next in sequence. And it's asking me what my delivery date is. So I'm going to say it's going to take about a week for it to come in. They're asking for payment on receipts. All these fields here can be changed and can be um, made mandatory or are not or non-mandatory um, based on the settings within Zoho itself. Um, I'm kind of interested in this piece here because this is where the item will be able to pull through and show you where it's sitting within the accounting system. So let's type in our quartz worktop. It's telling me that this here is going to inventory assets and it's telling me that I'm ordering one. The current stock on hand is at zero and it's going to put it into the warehouse of Prestige Kitchens. I'm actually going to say... I would like 10 of these items. So it's all to multiply the rate by 10. It's pulled through the cost of goods sold price and pre-populated that and has also pre-populated the standard rate based on the item settings. Here I'm going to hit save. So I can see what this looks like. From here, I can send my purchase order directly to my supplier as an email. Or I can just mark it as issued. By marking it as issued means that now those goods are waiting to come in. The status has changed. Within our items here, I can now see our court's worktop. has to be billed. Within the reports, because this is a purchase order and not a bill, there are no accounting transactions. This means that there is no stock on hand, there's no committed stock, there's none available for sale. There is no record on the balance sheet of this item. If we go to reports and I go to the journal reports and I run it for today, there will be no transactions because nothing has changed within the books system. Once this item has been converted from a purchase order to a bill and we can hit convert to bill here it's saying what's the bill number that has come from shine bright so we can type in our bill number that i would take from their particular bill that's come to us it's going to automatically populate the order number and it's going to give today as a bill date we can date this in the future should we wish a little warning sign is coming up to tell us this it's automatically populated the different rates. If the rate is different, 
I would amend your purchase order to reflect what's on your bill. You can also upload the file here so that you have a copy of the supplier's bill for your own records. I'm going to save this as open. By marking this as open, the status has changed. I can go back to the reports and I can run my journal report. My journal report now shows that we have received in our bill for 6,000, the 5,000 of five of 10 lots of 500 pounds is now shown in our inventory asset and our VAT has been recorded correctly. This can also be shown on our inventory valuation summary for our quartz workshop. Here's our quartz workshop 10 at 5,000. And we can see there was nothing as open in stock and we can see our bill coming in. This information is also repeated under items because now we can see we've got 10 available for sale. There's nothing to be billed. We can see we've got 10 as a stock in hand and on our transactions, we can see now within a bill, this is our bill number, gives you the status here and also within our purchase order, the purchase order is issued and we can see exactly there. It's all fully documented.